the right signal again. Woof. All right, cool. All right, what's up going on, everyone? We're back, heading uh, back to White Plains. Get my seatbelt on. Should be about an hour back compared to 40 minutes up here due to a pretty strong headwind. But the weather looks better, getting a bit better in White Plains. So it should be a relatively nice, nice flight home. We got N2. And it juiced the fuel from the cutoff to the idle. We got rotation. Oh, pressure's coming up. Nice acceleration. And the relay's out. everything now we got oil pressures coming up looking for hot start on the ITTs nice and cool though and one's coming up and the relays out all right flaps 15 flight controls Takeoff data is in. Well, temperatures were 66, 10,000 is top. Burlington 9 departure, direct radar, radar vectors departure. Pressurization is set for White Plains at 439. Let's go. Clear left, clear right. Ground citation to Romeo Fox at Heritage Taxi, please. Citation to Romeo Fox, short runway 15, taxi via right, uh, correction, left turn there on Charlie, cross runway 19, alpha call. All right, left turn here, Charlie, cross runway uh, 19, alpha, golf to runway 15 for to Romeo Fox. All right, taxi lights coming on, let's get out of here. Clear across the runway, thank you. We are looking good. All right. Citation to Romeo Fox, this last arrival is saying plus or minus 10 on final, and I'm working on the new way to be out in just a second. Appreciate the heads up, thank you. All right, clear left, clear right. The runway is closed, they're doing major construction on it. But always good just to put all your lights on for crossing any sort of runway. That looks good. And to Romeo Fox shot, he also said moderate turbulence. Okay, thank you. Alrighty. Taxi checks, lights are on, brakes. Feeling quite nice. Nose wheel steering is definitely moving. Flight instruments checked, rudder bias not needed, because that's the first item of the day. Before takeoff, passenger seats, we don't have any. Ice protection's not needed for now, it will be once we do become airborne and into visible moisture below 10 degrees on the ram air temperature. Speed brakes are down. Trims three times centered. Crew breathing. We got a plenty long runway here at Burlington 15. Anything below 94, it's max braking. Frost levers idle, speed brakes up. Anything above 94, we continue. Rotate 98. We'll plan to come back here, really, everything. There's some maintenance here. There's a big runway here. Weather is VFR, so let's go ahead and, uh, and plan to do that. Um, yeah, that's really all the questions. Again, it's gonna be bumpy. It's gonna be sporty out of here. 
So that's a consideration just to make sure that probably keep it in takeoff power a little, just a little longer, just to be able to get above some of the some of the wind, wind any wind shear that might be out there. And go around button is set. Two Romeo Fox will be ready at the end. You want to go over to tower? Two Romeo Fox, shot. Yes, the current winds one nine zero at one zero gust one seven altimeter two nine six two. Contact tower. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thanks, Two Romeo Fox. Take it easy. Tower, hello, citation, Two Romeo Fox is coming up on 1-5 at Gulf, ready to go. Two so, Romeo Fox, drive Burlington Tower, turn right heading 190, runway 15, clear for takeoff. Heading 190, clear for takeoff, runway 15, Two Romeo Fox, drive. All right, heat, lights. In 190 at 11, gust 17. Thank you. We are ready to rock and roll. Engine entrance are clear. Taking off, looking good. One five looks good to me. Zoom it out on the range. We're heading 190, weight to 400 feet. Here we go. Stable, take off. Take off power is set and achieved. Two good engines. Airspeed is alive, both sides. 70 knots. V1, rotate. Pause the right gear up. V2 plus 10, flaps up. VNAV, your dampener. 400 feet, here we go, heading select. Or two Romeo Foxtrot, contact B departure, good day. Good day, two Romeo Foxtrot. Engine's coming on, and your bleed switch is coming on. Burlington departure, hello, citation to Romeo Foxtrot, 2700 climbing at 10,190 heading. Citation 2, Romeo Foxtrot, Burlington departure is right at contact, proceed direct to Albany. Direct to Albany, to Romeo Foxtrot, thank you. Autopilot's coming on, we're direct to Albany now. So we'll go Albany, direct, activate, nav. And we're going up to 10,000, looking good. November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, contact Boston Center, 135.7. 35-7, citation to Romeo Fox, track. great day. See ya. The center maintain 9,000, 11 on altimeter, 2, 9 or 7, 3. After takeoff, gears up, flaps are up, throttles are climbing, verifying. Pack safety not needed, lights come in recog, pressurization's coming up, altimeters to go. Center, good evening. Citation to Romeo Foxtrot 7000, climbing to 10000, direct Albany. Center to Romeo Foxtrot, Boston Center, climb maintain squad level 240. Areas of moderate precipitation, 11 o'clock and 30 miles. Continues longer with the flight uh, for about 70 miles. Appreciate that, and up to 240 for citation to Romeo Foxtrot. All right, not going to be any clouds. We're looking good. Engine bleed. Air switch is coming off on the way we go. We're climbing good today. Here at 531, area of moderate precipitation, 12 o'clock, 10 miles, continues along your flight for 10 miles. Copy, yeah, somebody wants. Damage at 503, cross pack C, at or above 6,000, third RNAV runway 18 approach, 11 on. Look at that, we're climbing at 10,000, 11,000 feet, we're climbing at 5,000 feet per minute. That is awesome, and we're, I mean, 3,100 pounds of fuel on board. That's, I mean, really, really good. We, we can fill the tanks at 4,710 pounds. So, funny thing on that note is the Citation M2 that we flew before this, the max amount of fuel it could take was 3,296 pounds. So we're almost at the exact same amount of fuel we could max out in the M2. Um, and we're, look, we're climbing at 5,000 feet per minute. We're a rocket ship out of here, Concorde style, and uh, we're in good shape. I still find it amazing that, well, and funny, not amazing, but funny, that, you know, Gamma Jet, they fly XLs and King Airs, but the, the King Air pilots, even though it's they're flying a propeller at a turboprop, they still, their call sign is still Gamma Jet, which I just, 
find it funny because they're not flying a jet, they're flying a prop. So it should be a gamma prop. All right, 18. Look at this, 5,000 feet per minute. Wow. Look at that, 5,000 feet per minute. We're just, we're out of here. 105 knots. We're climbing good, but we're doing vision jet speeds. Doing 190 over the ground. Oh boy. It, it did say an hour and two minutes compared to 42 minutes coming up. So, a little bit of a difference. All right, engine bleeders, which is coming off. JetBlue 687, climb maintain, flight level 340. One other thing, you all know I do, I'm a big flight sim nerd, and love it. I'm a control on bat sim. Obviously I've, I've flight sim quite a bit, fly your planes on Twitch. The Twitch account, uh, Twitch citation max on there. The link's down in the description and probably put it somewhere here. But uh, anyway, there's uh, in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, there is a, uh, a new uh, CJ4, which has been since the simulator came out, but there's a, uh, a group of, of developers named Working Title, and uh, they've done a fantastic job on the CJ4, doing basically trying to fully customize it right outside of what a Sobo, which is who's developed Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, has done. So uh, it's the Working Title CJ4 mod. If you guys type that in, go get that a download. It's noticeably better than the default stuff. Like, highly, highly recommend it. That's so cool, just like skimming the cloud tops. Like, wow. Awesome. Anyway, I have a cookie here, which I got from Heritage. It's a sugar cookie. Oh, jeez. Um, not, you know, we're a chocolate chip fan, but anyway, it's okay. We'll eat it. It was, I had one earlier, it was pretty good. We need this, turn off the cameras for a little bit, and then uh, we'll get them uh, rocking and rolling for arrival into into White Plains. So we'll see you all in a little bit with this beautiful view of just skipping the cloud tops. It's really cool to see the speed, you, you feel it. It's, it's awesome. Alrighty, we just got our descent, just descending at about 14,500. We started down super early, so, and that's always what happens when you come from the north. That's why they got to cross you over Albany at 16,000 feet. So, all good. Just got the uh, the weather in White Plains. It's 8 is Charlie, 170 at 13 gust 19, 2 miles light rain mist, overcast 500 feet. The temperature is 11 degrees and the... Uh, uh, Celsius and the dew point's 11, so the air is very saturated and they're doing airless 1.6. So, that's what's going on down there. It was a beautiful sunset though. I got uh, a couple cool pictures on Instagram. So it should be good. And uh, if you do have Instagram, I do have an Instagram account, Citation Max one So go check that out on Instagram. Give it a follow. I love interacting with everyone on Instagram. It's super, super fun. Everyone asks really, really awesome questions and it's just a great community. So a lot of love on there, a lot of love. So go give that a follow. But uh, we'll get the descent here. Windshield, windshield defog not required. We weren't cold soaked. Didn't go high enough. All good there. Pressurization is set for good old White Plains at 439. We got one taco to go, 1,000 to go, 13 descending, 12. Altimeters are good. 2969, three times. Lights are good. We'll get the landing data in. So ILS 1 6. It's 1097, the inbound's 163. Glide slopes at Zimmer at 2000. 639 is the minimums. So that's the lowest altitude we can go before we'd have to go around. That's 200 feet above the ground. In the event of a miss, it's a climb to 1,000 feet, then a climbing left turn to 3,000 feet on heading 150. And the outbound LaGuardia 044 radial 2 harp on the 23.5 DME and hold. That's at 3,000. So we set min 639 two times, and we'll load it. So that is in. Get our landing numbers. So landing data. We're going to be a 10,500 10, pound airplane for runway 16. Gonna, it's a wet runway, so we have to change the configuration to wet. 
which we do. We have 1,600 feet available. And our landing data. So we're 108, 100, so flaps approach, it's 108 knots, and then flaps 35, our standard landing configuration, 100 knots. If we're at ref, we need 3,600 feet of runway, and if we're refing 10, we need 4,300 feet of runway. So we'll accept the speeds, and Here they are posted. Contact, approach, 120, today. Avionics okay. instruments are set, field transfer is off, lights are good, no passengers, messengers, anti-ice is on, I'm just keeping it on because we're kind of going in and out of the, of the soup. And uh, that's okay, it. Pressurization needs to be at 0 0.5 000. by touchdown, which it is, which it will be. And uh, that was Air Transport 3505, what six was it? Air Transport 3505, I'm sorry, Stella at 11000. Stella at 11100, Air Transport 3505. So you're noticing there's a, a push to talk button also on the um, on the arm pedestal here. I've been using that more recently. And uh, so there's one obviously on the yoke here, which is if you're obviously hand flying, it's, it's much more comfortable and, and easier to hit. But if you're just chilling out at cruise, you can just a little, little clicky click button right down here on the uh, on the left pedestal arm armrest and it works great there are other planes that some of them on the Embraer is they're up kind of and on the, number two on the F5 chart. What was the outside air temp again? yeah it was right around plus four thank you um kind of up here but I like it down here it's not too bad it I, I can see the use of having it here but listen it is what it is it's nice to have a couple options so we're on the uh the Valry 5 I see it's geo referenced in Kind of go down here and, and zoom in. Number 4449. So we're coming uh, over uh, just past Wigan. We're approaching That's Kingston VOR and 49. then Valerie at 6,000 feet, which what we we'll, should expect. And then Bayzy, Harp. Now that's normally what if they're landing 3 4. When they come 1 6, kind of what the exact jet uh, character got. Um, normally it's direct Valerie, direct Farron to join the 1 6 localizers. Normally what they do when they land south in White Plains. Look at that, beautiful. November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, it's going to maintain 6,000. 6,000 citation to Romeo Foxtrot. Meet there 4824, it's going to maintain 17,000. The Stuart altimeter 2973. If you're enjoying the videos, Greatest way you can show support to the channel is hitting that subscribe button. I know I sound like a broken record, but um, I really appreciate everyone's support. Got a lot of new followers over the past couple months. A couple of videos that have done really, really well, so super fortunate. And a big thank you to everyone who's supported the channel um, over the years, obviously recently. So if you if you do enjoy the videos, please hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, it'd be pretty awesome. 3589, Boston Center, the Albany Altimeter, 2969. Alright, we're coming back in the precip engine, NTA switch is coming on. It's nice to hear a lot of the, especially the commercial traffic coming back. Kind of hearing a busy delay sequencing for Newark and stuff. It's, it makes you feel somewhat positive about kind of where aviation is going and kind of the recovery, so it's always Brings a smile to my we face. Two Romeo Fox Track, contact New York Fruit 20.8 today. 20.8, citation to Romeo Fox Track today. Under 44.49. Great connection, good by an Airbus 320. Under 47.034, congrats, I'll put ILS 2.2 Fruit, contact Tower 87. Third local uh, ILS 2.2 for under 47.03, and over to Tower 1967. So long, United 84 Heavy, contact 120.85. 2085, United 84 Heavy. Nick Approach, how you doing? Citation, two Romeo Foxtrot, 6000, Charlie. Two Romeo Fox, I'm good, thanks. 10 to 3, Farron, and this is the low. All right, 3000, and you broke up a little bit. You said direct Farron for the low? Confirm. You got it. Got the 419, swap 1623. All right, so we'll go Farron, direct to join the localizer, down to 3000. Sweet. That's kind of what we briefed and kind of expected to, so that's good. 5 this, this dude's on often, he's really good. The whole end. 
the whole ZNY and 90 crew is super, super awesome. But this guy was working me a couple weeks ago, and he was he was on fire with the vectors. You got it. Thank you. Would be 515, six from Zimmer, 2000 South, but I'll come 165. Pick up 420, heading 190, zero, Dennis at the local now. 190, zero, Dennis at 420. All right, so we'll maintain 250 knots until advised. I really should have read back 250 knots to Romeo Fox, but he knew it was me, so. See clouds down there. Have a good one. See you later, 515. Is it so we get our frequencies ready here. So 1857, especially IFR 2182 is going to be ground. So we got low kick glide slope on the scoreboard there and standby. That's in white, which means it's armed. It's basically in an armed mode. So we're going to slow to 210 until Farron. Air 87 heading 250. That wind is brutal though. Wow. So we're going to put the chart up there so we have that for situational awareness. We cleared the approach. United 509, 210 knots now. Go to Virginia, 509. Protection all our staff landing Westchester. Previous arrivals reported breaking out at 850 feet on final. 850, okay. That's about 500 feet above mid. All right, low capture, low green. I'm two Romeo Fox, I east west of the tower now, 118.57. Have a good night. 1857, citation to Romeo Fox Trot. Have a great night, thanks. United 509. And Fox Trot taxi via Lima Kilo Cross runway 11. Okay, right turn Fox Trot, Lima Kilo Cross 11. To the United 509. Tower, how you doing? Citation to Romeo Fox Trot, ILS 16. Citation to Romeo Fox Trot, west of the tower, number two, Fauna Fina, I'm four miles final proof. So I reported breaking out 850 feet right. MSL from my 16 place. Land wind, one niner, zero eight niner. Go land, one six, citation to Romeo Fox Trot, thank you. All right, we're clear to land. Landing lights coming on for verification of the landing clearance. Below 161, oh, okay, flaps okay. 35. Citation. We Person are two, just past 1,000 feet to minimum. 1,000 to minimum. Don't cover that, thank you. Before landing, gear down, three green, flaps 35, speed brakes are down. Airspeed is coming back, autopilot, your dampener to go. Five hundred. Roger, three hundred to minimums. Lights, continue. There's two hundred to minimums. We're wrapping about eight. And there's runway in sight. Autopilot's Auto coming pilot. off. About 200 above mint, we got the runway. The wind's dying off now, so it's... Minimum. Minimum. Landing. Westchester Tower, Barrett, 6.3, Bravo Lima, 6.4 to Zimmer. Oh, greased it. 6.3, Bravo Lima, Westchester Tower, good evening. Out. Service Bravo reported breaking out at 1100 feet, MS, correction, 1100 feet, wind 100, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, that's what I thought. Number two, Romeo Fox, left that one one or kilo and taxi alpha. Yeah, yeah. Two, Ross uses frequency. All right, left one one, and then uh, we get to make a left on alpha. Aver. All right, Roger that. And we didn't get the runway till about eight hundred feet uh, MSL. Thank you, eight hundred feet MSL. Affirmative. Yeah, we we got the lights at about nine hundred, but we didn't get the runway till eight hundred. Roger. Number three, Bravo Lima, did you copy? Copy three, Bravo Lima. 
left here. Wow, it is soupy. All right, it's good. Clean up time, flaps coming up. Well, welcome to rainy Westchester County Airport. That was uh, that was a fun approach. Always good to get a couple of those in. And hope you again enjoy the video. So we'll see everyone on the next one. Take care. Be well.